I'm Usman Khan. I'm a control engineer at JTEC. I'm working on their robotics uh, uh, projects. This is the eye loader working on our DTC 400 XL. It's a drill tap uh, centering machine. And this is the robot that's loading it. Right now you can see it's running. This is not a part system as much as it's a fixture system. So over here you'll see multiple fixtures and pucks for like where they'll go and inside the software you define how like much how much space it takes and the software will determine where to place what so right now you can see it's pulling one fixture out so it'll grab it pull it up straight up out of the machine some tight positioning but it'll make it now you can see it'll place it right down here yeah so you can see on this fixture, there's a part that's clamped there. So it's not machining the fixture as much as it's machining the part on there. And you set up your fixture offsets inside of the software and it will send it to the CNC over ethernet. And right now it's pulling another one of the same type of block. And you can see here, they'll load it in. They'll do a handshake to make sure that it's clamped. It'll pull out and close the door. And then when it goes home, it'll start the machine. There she goes. And while the machine is running, it will take the finished part that it just did and it'll hand it to what they call the WSS. And this is where you actually interface with the cell. Like an operator would be here and they would be loading and removing fixtures that I can show you right now once the robot clears and the shutter closes, then you can open the door without it alarming out. Uh, and there's the fixture. Here you can see there, it uses a pull stud system where one stud is used to register it into the hole and position it correctly, and the other stud is how the robot grabs onto it. So when you're here, now that it's done, I can take out the machine part and I have the fixture here, I can do whatever I want with it. Generally, you would remove your finished part, the operator would put a new one in, place it in there, and then go to your WSS and say, hey, I'm gonna fill it with this part. That's that. And right now it's doing one of the other fixtures. Um, one of the, yeah, so it just finished up that one and it's placing it in cabin two. This is cabin one, that's cabin two. So before it pulls that out and gives it to the operator, it's going to load in the next part, which you can see is different. It's a smaller square, and it also has its own NC program, its own fixture offsets, and that gets sent from the software over to the machine. So in here, you'll see it's set. Clamps in the machine, the robot pulls back, and then it'll execute once it closes the door and turns around. And this program is different because it's a different part. Right now it's just cutting air. But you can see while it's running, it will take the part that it finished again and place it there for you to interface. If it has any objectives to complete in the cell, it can do that while the machine is running. So once again, pull out your fixture and then you let it know Hey, I took this out. Doing an unload right now. There you go. And this is the uh, cycle on off button for the software. While it's running, if I do that, it won't give any more tasks. It won't unload parts. It won't remove them out of the cell. And right now you can go through and modify all of your details. So we just have them as big and small square and big and small window. In here you set your load positions, you get a 3D model of it, your length, your width, and then they call the fixture that, it, that it's in the Y-lock. It's a Y-lock system. So there's one on the um, wrist of the robot and then one which is the fixture you mount inside the machine. And this is where you do your definition for that.
and then here you set your fixture offset based on which fixture you're using. So each fixture has its own part program defined here as well as its own offsets. So this is best for prototyping, this is best for machi uh, machining parts that might need to change day to day and then you can also do full assemblies but that's more advanced and it requires you to define an assembly of multiple parts and multiple fixtures. Then I can start it again and now it'll take the one of these guys, I'll grab it, lift it up, and I'll place it in the machine. Okay. And then I'll start machining and do the same thing where while that's running, it'll give me the part that it finished last cycle. And there it is. You can see the fixtures are pretty different, but the setup is the same. You have one pull stud to register the hole location, and the other one for the robot to grab it and move it around. And then each of these would have their own offset. This would have a particular offset, this would have another, as well as their own part program. And all of that is defined inside of the software. And while it's running, we can also load a new one. As an operator would, they place it here, close the door, go to your WSS, and then I put in the big square. That's just the name we have for it. It does have an RFID reader as well, if you wanted to just scan. I can do big part. And now when it's done unloading, it's gonna grab this and place it on the shelf to queue it on for the uh, next machining cycle. Just finished loading, or well, it is loading right now. And then it will jump to a sub-program based on what is written to from the software. You will get to see once it finishes. Now it's running the machining program set up by our applications department. This one's a very short program though. And yeah. right now it's loading the new part that I put in. And And then it'll place it back on the shelf. And then when it's, when the WSS is cleared, it'll give it to the operator. And all of the positions for where the parts are and where it's going to go to pick up the next one are set up by the software, where it takes into account the width of the fixture. It takes into account what spaces are open Actually, in here, you can see I've disabled quite a few of them just for show purposes so that I can have it go to exactly where I want. But you can see in cabinet two, you have all these open spots, but I only have six that I have enabled. But you just hit here and you can enable your slot. Right now, it went blue because it's machining. And then when it's done, it'll go green for machined. So it keeps track of where the part will be and where it needs to get the next one from. So right now, just finish this part, it's about to give it to me.
Okay, and you see it just updated. It moved it from uh, 3.2 to the WSS. I can go in, I can pick up my part, take out, and now it immediately requeued a part uninstall. And it'll take the next one and immediately bring it out to me. With this cell, you're not actually supposed to go in there because since the rotation of it matters, you want the robot to place it on the pucks and it for pick, to pick it up as well. The, all of your interfacing that you do with the cell happens through the WSS station. I believe it just finished our last part. We'll place it on the shelf first, and then after that, it will give it to us. There we go. And now with that removed, it will sit idle until you tell it what to do next. And that's all the parts machine.